Andrew Roy Gibb was born March 5, 1958, in Manchester, England. He was the youngest of five children, and three of his siblings would become one of music's most successful trios, the Bee Gees. When Gibbs was six months old, the family moved to Australia, but returned to the UK when his brother's musical career was about to take off. As the youngest brother of the Bee Gees, Gibb also enjoyed the perks of the rock and roll lifestyle, riding around London in a limo as a 12-year-old. At his brother's Barry's urging, Gibb decided to pursue his own musical career, dropping out of school in his early teens. In 1974, Gibb formed his first group, the short-lived Melody Fair, and moved to Australia. But the band never really took off and Gibb's bandmates moved back to the UK. While in Australia, Gibb made a few demo records, which were produced by Australian musical legend Cole Joy. Gibb soon found success down under with two hits he composed by himself, Words and Music and Westfield Mansions. Words and music make a song For our hearts to sing along in 1976, on the strengths of the two singles, the Bee Gees manager signed Gibb to RSO Records, after which Gibb moved to Miami, Florida to begin working on material with his brother Barry. In addition to his burgeoning musical career, Gibb found love, marrying his girlfriend Kim, with whom he would have his only child, a daughter named Pita. The marriage, like Gibb's band efforts, was short-lived. Gibb's collaboration with his brother Barry made the 18-year-old an overnight sensation, Gibbs' first album, Flowing Rivers, featured a song penned by brother Barry, I Just Want to Be Your Everything, which exploded onto the hit charts in the U.S., reaching the number one spot. The second number one single from the album, Blood is Thicker Than Water, was written by both Gibb and Barry. The album was so successful it knocked the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, which featured hits by the Bee Gees, off the top of the charts. The handsome and affable Gibb also became a teen heartthrob, which caused many in the music industry to dismiss his considerable musical talents. Regardless, Gibb followed up his debut album with another huge hit, Shadow Dancing, featuring the title track, which was written by all four Gibb brothers. The album produced two other hits, An Everlasting Love and Our Love, Don't Throw It All Away. Gibbs' massive stardom proved no match for an equally massive cocaine habit which would bring about personal and financial ruin. Known as a sweet, fun-loving person, Gibb was also plagued by depression and insecurities, which undoubtedly fueled his drug habit. In 1980, Gibb began work on his third album, After Dark, featuring a duet with Australian superstar Olivia Newton-John. Lay your troubles on my shoulders Put your worries in my pocket Rest your love on me a while. It would be Gibbs' final studio album. Shortly after its release, his label would fire him due to behavioral issues exacerbated by his cocaine use. He still managed to score a gig hosting the popular music show Solid Gold. Solid Gold, Mr. Andy Gibb, with his co host, Miss Marilyn McCoo. Good evening, and welcome to TV's most exciting hour of contemporary music. The following year, Gibb became the source of constant tabloid fodder when he began dating TV star Victoria Principal. Eventually, however, the drugs proved more powerful than love, and the romance came to an end. In 1982, Gibb joined the Broadway cast of Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat to much fanfare, but was fired the following year due to his constant absence from the stage. His management insisted that the absences were not caused by drug use, stating that his addiction had been cured in the previous year. In 1985, Gibb finally entered rehab to conquer his demons, but it may have been too late. By this time, he was broke and his work opportunities had vanished. 
When he filed for bankruptcy in 1987, he reported his yearly income as $8,000. In 1988, Gibbs signed a deal with Island Records and moved to London to begin working on a comeback album. On the morning of March 10th, 1988, just a few days after celebrating his 30th birthday in the city, Andy Gibb was admitted to the hospital after complaining of chest pains. He passed away later that day. a memorial service at a chapel on his brother Robin's estate, Gibbs' body was flown to Los Angeles, California, where he was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park under a headstone that reads, Andy Gibb, an everlasting love. Andy Gibb was adored by his family and his fans. His sunny good looks and charming demeanor launched him onto the charts and into many hearts. His crippling demons were brought on by his inability to see himself as the world saw him and as he will forever shine in our memories, young, talented, and beautiful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like the channel. Also, Click the bell by the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of new videos.